Bonjour les amis, c'est moi Madame C. And guess what? I have an English book. And you know what? Right now it's springtime. And springtime makes me think of growing things. Because spring is a time for growing in nature. And you are growing too. This book is called Plants Can't Sit Still by Rebecca E. Hirsch. Illustrations by Mia Posada. Now, this title has got me thinking. It says that plants can't sit still. I didn't realize that plants moved. Now I know that when it's windy, we see the leaves rustling. I understand that. But I'm curious about this book. I'm curious as to why plants can't sit still. Follow me. Plants don't have feet or fins or wings, yet they can move in many ways. Look closely and you'll discover that plants can't sit still. Plants can wiggle as seedlings start to grow. They squirm out of the spring soil, unfold their leaves, and reach for the warmth and the light. I get it. This big plant is a sunflower. It is an extremely large plant, and it starts off as a little sunflower seed. And as it starts to grow, it does wiggle and then it reaches, reaches high into the sky. And guess what? The sunflower will turn its head to get the most sunlight. Isn't that a smart plant? And I see un oiseau, a bird, that's about to get some seeds, les grains. Plants can creep they slither underground or crawl through tall grass, searching for the things that all plants need, water, sunshine, and room to grow. Oh, these make me hungry. Voici des fraises. Les fraises, those are strawberries. So it says right here that plants can creep and I understand why. At the bottom where the soil is, you'll find the roots of a plant. They're called les racines, and they are very important to the health of a plant because they go deep, deep down. You see how it says slither? It slithers down into the soil, crawls through the tall grass, and that's where the plant will absorb water. Now the roots will absorb the water and that's something that it needs, water. And it will transport it up the stem and through to the leaves and the fruit of the plant. And that's so the plants can be hydrated with the water that it needs. So plants need water, sunshine, and room to grow. And look, les insects, those are insects. Can you see them? I see some. Je vois des chenilles jaunes, yellow caterpillars. And as they search, plants can climb a fence or walk up a wall. <gasps> wow! Je vois du violet. Do you see some violet, purple? So it says here that they can climb a fence and this fence will actually support the plant and it can climb a wall. That is true. The wall of this castle actually supports the plant as well. Plants can hide from a hungry grasshopper. <gasps> La sauterelle. That's how you say grasshopper en français. Or surprise a fly. Snap! Oh no, la mouche va être mangée. Oops, 
la mouche, that's how you see fly. And it looked like it walked into a Venus fly trap and then snap. Some plants sleep at night, leaves nodding, flowers folding. <gasps> wow, look, it's nighttime. C'est la nuit. And it says here the leaves or les feuilles, they nod down. And flowers fold. Guess what? Monsieur Soleil n'est pas là. Mr. Sun is not there. So at nighttime, the flower can close up and it will open, ouvre, when Mr. Soleil comes out. Others wake with the stars and lift their faces to the moon. <gasps> there we go. Voici la lune. And these fleurs, flowers, are facing the light of the moon. Est-ce que vous voyez une souris? Voici la souris. Bonjour, souris. Plants can tumble on a breeze. There we go. Whoosh! As they bounce along, seeds sprinkle out. There we go. Do you see this tumbleweed? It's bouncing and releasing its seeds, les grains. And do you know what? That's a part of the life cycle of a plant. When these seeds get spread, it's a chance for them to go down into the soil and grow into a new plant. But you know what else it does? It provides food for little rodents like this one. Do you see this little rodent that's hiding? It's going to find Le Grand. Plants even explode. They fling their seeds into the world to make new plants. Pew! Look at that. Do you see une grenouille, a little frog that's hiding? He's right there. Ribbit. A seed is a plant built for travel. Seeds can whirl like helicopters or float on parachutes or glide on papery wings but they can't sit still. Do you know what this reminds me of? You know what I like to do to dandelions? Sometimes I pick them. I pick the white dandelions and then make a wish. I close my eyes, make a wish, and I blow. Did you know that when you do that, if you've ever done it before, you're actually blowing the seeds and it makes more Dandelions more will grow because the seeds are spreading. Seeds hitchhike on your sock <laughs> or on a fox's bushy tail. They take a ride inside a bear. I get it. The bear is going to eat the berries and the seeds are going to go in his tummy. Eventually they're gonna come out and more plants will grow. Seeds set sail, sloosh, down the river past swaying trees into the wide ocean, drifting, waiting for what all plants need, water, sunshine, and room to grow. Look at those coconuts. They have fallen off of these palm trees and into the ocean. When the seed finds a spot, the seedling squirms out. It unfolds its leaves. It reaches for the warmth and the light and it keeps on moving because plants can't sit still. They are constantly moving and growing and thriving, like you. La fin.
the end. Merci beaucoup les amis, à très bientôt, bye!